Hey friends, hey, it's your girl Kitty. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a ride or die, part of KKC, welcome back. Today, guys, I am doing chicken fajitas. This is just the pre-made little kit you can get at Costco. So yeah, I just figured I would have this for lunch and make a video for you guys. So also I have some peach some peach brisk iced tea before i dig in i want to give a shout out to my mvp for the month of july ravage raven go check out his channel the link to his channel will be in the description box below um he does gaming content so if that is something you're into feel free to go check him out um also that's my son that's my son's channel so if you're into gaming or you just want to support him show some love let him know that i sent you Okay, so today's been like, I'm on my lunch break from my job, so. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna dig in, get this iced tea open. Mm. I'll just set this off to the side so I don't knock it over. All right, I'm gonna move this a little closer. Guys. What a day. Number one, I didn't sleep that great. Number two, yeah, I feel like you guys are farther away this time. I'm probably gonna make a mess. So, I did remember napkins. Yeah, at first, I didn't sleep that great last night. Like, quick recap of my CPAP machine. It's not going well. My tummy's probably going to go nuts because this is my first meal of the day. Um, mm. So yeah, <clears throat> didn't sleep great. Still trying to get used to that freaking machine. kind of swamped with work but I'm trying not to stress out I actually knocked ma majority of the invoices are done up and sent or there's a couple that haven't been sent yet because I started them and he's got more information for me to add to them so I didn't send them and just, you know, just trying to get a hold of a customer and his number is not the number that we have. That's annoying. Um, but on, so yeah, I'm kind of swamped with work, but I'm, I'm like, okay, I can do this. I can do this. And I'm just one of those people that when I'm given a task, I'm like, gotta get it done. Gotta get it done. Like, cause I'm like, I'm going to disappoint somebody. I'm going to mess up. Like, if I don't get on this and do it right now. I'm just one of those people. I'm a people pleaser. That's funny. <laughs> Vanessa mentioned about people pleasing in her video. And that I'm one of those people. And I too am working on not. I mean there's nothing wrong with people pleasing. But. It's who and why. <laughs> That's what matters. But. Anyways, so I'm like kind of feel like a lot of it. I'm like putting like the pressure and stress on myself. And 
like I got a whole new big bag of receipts that I got to do and I'm just like okay like I can you know I can do this like if I don't get to the receipts today I can you know there's always tomorrow so mmm I don't even know what is in this. It's like chicken and cheese, obviously. And there's like salsa and cilantro, cilantro and lime sauce. And what is, it's like carrots and, I don't know what the, it looks like ca cabbage, no. I don't know, there's like carrots and something, some form of vegetable topping. I don't know, but it's delicious. Anyway, so I'm like stressing myself out, I think. We got an email from my aunt. Um, she's not really too sure yet exactly what's going on, but I just, I just have a feeling it's not good. And it really, really, really sucks because I know it's not cool and it, you know, not that it's not cool, but I like to have favorites, but she on my mom's side is one of my favorite aunts. Um, I think we had a little moment when I was a kid, like an early, like preteen, we kind of butted heads there a little bit, I think in the beginning of my teen years, but I've, I've always kind of thought like, you know, she was one of my favorites on my mom's side and I'm just worried I'm just worried about her. And I'm like, I said to my son, like, I just broke down crying earlier. And I was like, kind of overwhelmed, like, with feeling like a little workload. And like, like I said, I think I'm putting a little pressure on myself. Um... <sighs> Sorry, my tummy's going crazy. Um... But yeah, so I like, I really feel like a lot of it is me putting like some pressure on myself. So, I mean, I like, obviously the work will get done. It will get done. And I still need to, I still need to set up the printer. He dropped off a printer, scanner, fax machine for me to use. So I have to like figure out all that. And I got a wireless mouse. And I got to figure out that and then all the receipts and it just, it just felt like a lot coming at me all at once. So it was like, like I said, it's just me. I'm like overwhelming myself because realistically that's, it's not a lot. It's really not a lot, but to me it just felt like a lot and But I was telling my son earlier that it just really sucks. Like, it's like a blessing to have a big family. And, like, I have a huge family on my mother's side and my father's side. I have tons of aunts, tons of uncles. Um, quite a few of my uncles have passed away. A few of my aunts have passed. And, um... Uh... Like I just lost one of my aunts last year and um, I just, it just sucks. Like it's like a blessing having a huge family, but it's hard for the fact that the more people you have in your family, 
in your life. Like, there's more hurt and heartache. And it's just, it's just a struggle. Oh, I didn't want this video to be me crying. Oh, God. Um... Like, and I know, like, you know, people will say, well, it's like, you know, don't think the worst. And no, you don't understand. <laughs> Anytime there's anything long related in my family, it doesn't end well. It just doesn't end well. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear my tummy making noises, but it is what it is. So anyways, um, I've been just like trying to just focus on my work and get the invoices done and, um, I'll definitely, oh my gosh, I'll definitely try to like, you know, keep myself distracted and I'm not going to bother with the, the mouse and the printer. I will work at that later this evening or later this afternoon. Um, but for now I'm just going to finish my lunch and, um, Yum. Oh, my nose. <laughs> Um, but yeah, she basically was having some breathing issues and, you know, their first thought was COVID. Let's get you tested. Negative. So, I apologize for the snuffing. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Um, I'm not going to get into too many details, but basically they found some dark spots, some spots on her lungs. And I just kind of knew, like, just the way my mom said... Like, um, well, first she said, did you, did you say anything to Brenda about Aunt Rita? And I was like, no, no, nobody said anything. And she's like, oh, well, <coughs> there was an email from my aunt and she typed up an email and for, like sent it to any of her si any of her siblings that actually have an email address and stuff like that, like, and I think the only one not on the list was my aunt, my aunt Paulette. So it was sent, you know, to my mom and her sisters and her brother, actually her brother, their brother probably knew because they see each other. The aunt that sent the email and my uncle, my my mom's only brother, 
there was nine kids, eight girls and one boy. So, um, and two of the, two of my mom's sisters have passed away, both lung related complications, lung related illness and Anyways, so I guess we just wait, we wait to hear what's going on. She goes for more testing. Today's Monday. She goes for more testing tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, which will be July 6th. Um. <sighs> I mean, I pray it's nothing, but... I, uh, kind of already know that it's not going to be good. Um, so yeah, I mean, my aunt that passed away last year, I remember standing in the Costco parking lot and talking to her because we were, excuse me, we were going in, she was coming out and she didn't really come out and say what was going on with her medically. We already knew she was struggling. We knew she was sick, but she never really elaborated on what was going on and some people are like that and I you know I respect people's wishes and boundaries that's why you know I, I don't talk too much about detail like you know because I mean it's one thing for me to like open up and talk about my loved one being ill but I don't have to get into details and tell you every little detail I know like that's inev that's like uh what's the word irrelevant it, like, not that it's irrelevant per se, it's irrelevant to you guys. Like, um, but I just open up about things I'm going through because I love you guys. Like we're, we're like YouTube family. So, and like, I know I, like Vanessa says, like, this is her outlet. Like kind of, I agree. I'm This is kind of the same, like my outlet, like I love making these videos and talking with you guys and venting and, you know, you get to see the good, the bad and the ugly of my life and like things I'm going through and, you know, and, and life is a roller coaster. There's so many ups and so many downs and it's just like continuously up and down, up and down emotions and like you really never know what's going to happen from one moment to the next. And, you know, I want you guys to feel like this is a safe place, a safe space to share, to share with me, you, whatever you want to share with me in the comments, um, reach out to me. My, my emails are, is in the description of all my videos. If you guys needed to vent or need some advice or like, um, I, I, you know, I want you guys to know that I'm here and care as, you know, if I care about you guys. So I, like, I just want everyone to know I'm here, whether it's in the comment section, you know, private message on Instagram or, you know, I mean, I, I do need to be a little cautious with the, who I'm allowing <laughs> to converse with me. You know, I, I really, I mean, I'm like all there. I'm, I'm like all in a hundred percent to help people, but I do need to be cautious with 
you know, sharing my personal information. Um, with, you know, like my, my YouTube emails in my description, email me, you know, if you're a crazy person, I'm probably going to just ignore you or block you. <laughs> So, I don't know, guys. That's weird. <sighs> well, guys, I think I'm going to end this here. I really thought I could talk about things and not be super emotional, but that is one thing that I never deal with easily. And I really feel like a lot of people don't deal with death or illness. Like, um, yeah, so if you could please keep my aunt in your prayers, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you or yourself, you or yourself, what? You or your loved one or loved ones need prayers and love and healing vibes, please let me know in the comments because I am all about that. I am all about spreading love and hope and prayer and positivity and healing vibes and I'm not really overly religious but I do pray and I do I do care very deeply for people and I want in my perfect world we would all live forever in happiness <laughs> forever eternity and I guess that's kind of what we're told we get when we you know but everyone's views on that are different and I don't want to really get into whole aspects of that but anyways I love you guys so much and if you're still watching can you please leave me a purple heart and that'll let me know that you watched right to the very end and I truly appreciate the ride or dies that literally watch right to the end you guys are why I keep coming back and doing this. <laughs> I love you guys so much. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Deuces.